Hi, in this session I'll cover how to use the PV function or present value function. So what is the present value? Basically it returns the present value of an investment. So let's say for example in the future that you wanted to have a million dollars. Well at a certain percentage rate and X amount of years how much would you need to invest initially to get to that million dollars? So let me show you a couple examples, two investment examples and a third example I'll show you more of a loan example. Let's say, for example, you wanted to buy a car and you wanted to only pay X amount per month at a certain interest rate. How much car can you afford? So the present value can calculate that too. So let's go into it right now. So in our first example, we want to have you want we want to have a million dollars in 20 years. And let's say the annual interest rate is 10 percent. Lucky you. How much money would we need to initially deposit to get that 10 percent? So let's say our rate, so let's say that we had 10% here, 0 0.10. Now the number of payment periods, basically this is how many times we are going to invest per month or per year. And basically in this instance, we're only going to invest one time and our extended period will be 20 years. What payment are we going to put in? Basically this says that if we were to invest additionally per month, what, how much would that be? We're not going to do anything here, so I'm going to leave that blank. So our future value here is going to be a million dollars. We want to have a million dollars in 20 years. One, zero, 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 zero. So this is going to be our, what we want to put into our pocket. So our present value, you're going to put equal PV and open parentheses. So the rate is going to be this. So that's going to be our yearly rate, comma and our period. So we're going to say we're let's going to do this for 20 years. So I'm going to say this times 20 comma. And it'll bring us on to the next argument here. And the payment. Well there's not going to be any payment so I'm going to go ahead and just put a comma. And it'll, it'll po point us to the next argument which is the future value. Well I want my future value to be a million dollars. I'm going to select that cell. And basically, if I put a comma, it's going to ask for the type. So it's going to say, are you going to invest in the beginning of the period, or are you going to invest in the end of the period? By default, it'll, if you don't put anything here, it's going to do it at the end of the period. So like at the end of the period, if we do monthly investments, uh, which one would you select? Beginning of the month, end of the month? We're not going to do anything there, so I'm just going to backspace to get rid of that comma and just close parentheses and press Control enter to stay in that cell. And you can see here now that in order for us to have a million dollars by 20 years, we're going to have to invest $148,643 plus some change. So that's the present value of what we have to lay out. It's red because when we think of it in terms of how much money we have to give out of our wallet, that's going to, that's going to be a negative. And then in the future, in 20 years, that's going to be black. So we're going to have a million dollars come back into our wallet in 20 years. So that's the first example. The second example is, let's say that I'm going to do something a little bit more creative. I want to have a million dollars in 20 years and I'm also going to do a 10% interest. But in addition, every month I'm going to put in $100 to this investment vehicle, where the, whether it be a mutual fund or some other kind of investment vehicle. So how much money do I have to initially put in, in addition to every month putting in $100? Well, let's go ahead and figure that out. Our rate, rate's going to be the same. 0.10, which is 10%. And what are the payment periods? So if I said I said I'm gonna invest every month, so every month, so there's one year, 12 months in a year, so that's gonna be the payment periods, the number of payment periods. And the payment every month I'm going to shell out hundred dollars. So minus one hundred dollars is gonna come out of my wallet. And I want a million bucks by the tw end of 20 years. So that's gonna be a million dollars. So now here this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm going to do the same thing, equal PV. See, I know you notice that instead of doing it up here, I can also do it within the cell. So I do open parentheses. So the rate's going to be a little bit different here. Let's say, for example, this is going to be a monthly interest rate instead of having it yearly, yearly because I'm going to have the ability to put additional monthly payments. So this interest rate has to be divided by 12. So basically every month, what is that interest rate divided by 12? What is 10% divided by 12, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is the periods. So there's going to be 12 payment periods, but over 20 years. 
So I'm going to select this times 20. And my payment, basically, it's going to be it's $100 every month for the next 20 years. My future value is going to be the same. I wanted to have a million dollars. So for type, it's going to be the same. I'm not going to input anything in there because I'm going to assume that at the end of the month, that's where I'm going to put the, my money in. So I'll leave it at zero or just not enter anything. So I'll just go ahead and close that parentheses, press Control Enter, and you can see here now if I wanted to have a million dollars in 20 years with an investment every month of 100 bucks at 10% a year, I have to lay out $126,099 and some change. So that's a little bit better than that, but still, there's a lot we can see that in in terms of what we need to initially put out to make a million dollars, it's quite a bit. So you can use these calculations. Maybe if you don't have, a, if you don't want to do a monthly payment, or if you want to do a monthly payment of what you need to invest initially to get to your goal of some kind of future value. Let's go to our third example, which is a loan example. Now, in this example, let's say that I have a certain percentage that I'm able to buy a car at six percent, and I only want to pay five hundred dollars per month, and I don't only want to do that, take that loan out for five years. What's the most expensive car? money-wise that I can buy. So let's go ahead and plug those numbers in. So we have 6%, 0.06. The number of payment periods, that's going to be 12 because I'm going to be paying it every month. The most I want to pay every month is $500, so minus 500, that's coming out of my wallet. Future value, that's basically going to be zero. And what is my present value? How much can I afford? How much, how much car can I afford? Well, we can use our present value. PV, Open parentheses, our rate up here, divided by 12, because we're going to be paying monthly. And our payment period, 12 times 5, because we only want to do it for 5 years, 12 monthly payments by 5 years. What is our payment amount? Well, that's going to be $500. And our future value, we want that to be 0. And we're going to assume we're going to pay at the end of the month. Let's assume that. Close parentheses press control enter this in that cell and it's going to be 25,862 so that's the the most expensive car that we can afford so if we want to go out there and look for a car we want to look for a car that's not over this amount so the present value function has some really cool uses so I hope that helps thanks for watching if you want to see more videos from me click here to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and leave a comment below i like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.